new era for American cricket began in 2021. There he goes into a dive, what a catch! The rise of cricket was celebrated across the country. Now, with big wickets and even bigger hits, the stars of minor league cricket are back and better than ever. Primus goes huge! Don't miss the nation's largest league competing for the biggest prize in American cricket. The Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship returns June 25th. You're watching the Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship presented by Sunoco.
आप बस कंफर्म करना ठीक है चलो ठीक है मैं बात कर रहा हूँ हेलो हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग बात तो की थी एक बार वापस चलो हेलो 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 ठीक है हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वी आर हियर फॉर द गेम बिटवीन सेंट लुइस एंड डैलस सो द गेम इज अबाउट टू स्टार्ट इन अ फ्यू मिनट्स सो वील हैव द लाइव कवरेज इन जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स फ्रॉम नाउ The game is about to start in a few minutes so we'll have the live coverage in few minutes. All right, so we see the Dallas uh, Mustangs team just uh, doing their team picture over there uh, on the ground. It's a beautiful day here at the Musa Stadium in Pearland. It's the Houston Cricket Festival today. We have a double header lined up, and for the morning game between St. Louis and Dallas Mustangs, uh, St. Louis Americans they have won the toss and they have elected to bat first. It's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how this goes because. Uh, the the afternoon game is actually a local derby where we'll have a uh, lone star athletics playing houston hurricanes so it's going to be two local teams and uh, the facilities over here they are really good we see some tents which are put up for the spectators we have already seen quite a few spectators come in and this is just the morning game so i'm i'm pretty sure like as the day progresses we'll probably see more and more crowd coming in it's going to be really good to see how this goes we'll have the live coverage in a few minutes from now as both the teams are getting ready the umpires for today uh, sadik and parth the two umpires on field and it's kartik who's the third umpire the match referee sanjay narang for the day as the dallas team walks in to take the field and the two opening batters they're just waiting to get in as well so we'll have live coverage in a few minutes from now and we are looking forward to an exciting game right here Dallas Mustangs uh, they've been on a roll this season they've actually lost just one game so far in the entire uh, minor league edition of 2022 and they've played 9 games and they've won 8 and lost 1 this is actually their 10th game so and this is their home ground so they are well equipped with how the ground plays how the pitch is what are the conditions so familiar conditions for dallas over here and st louis americans they are visiting they are the visiting team for this game st louis americans uh, again uh, it's a good team right here and if you look at the uh, the way the team has progressed it's going to be interesting how they go from here on if you look at how uh, st louis americans have done they've actually uh, they've actually won 5 games so far and uh, they have played against dallas they played them on the 10th of july and that one dallas won by 5 wickets they actually bowled st louis for 86 and chased it 5 wickets down so it's going to be an exciting day it is uh, nasir jamali who's going to open the attack here for dallas he had a fantastic game yesterday and we'll have to see how this goes the first ball coming up now as uh, the 
St. Louis opener is taking strike, ready to face the first ball of the day. We'll have to see uh, what will be the approach. It's going to be Yashodhan Mahajan, Yash Mahajan and Luke Scofield, the two openers for St. Louis. We're getting ready for the first ball. Nasir Jamali is going to come left arm over from the PL and end. This one is beautifully bowled. The ball with the left arm over angle coming into the right-handed batter. Almost got the, got the edge. But in the end, beating the batter outside the off stump. What a start here from Nasir. And uh, a dot ball to start. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, that's, that's the, that's the skill set that Nasir has. He gets the ball into the right-handed batter with that left arm over angle. And uh, that's exactly what we are seeing over here. The two fielders outside the circle for Nasir. There's a third man out and there is a, there is a deep mid-wicket. A deep square leg, I beg your pardon, as Nasir comes in. Second ball again. This one coming into the right-handed batter. This time it's driven towards covers. It's a dot ball here. Well, the throw actually has hit the batter. It was unintentional. But uh, good to see the Dallas players uh, just checking on the batter over there that he's doing okay. That's Luke. When the cover fielder threw the ball to the keeper, it actually hit the batter. It was unintentional, but good spirit between the two teams. As uh, It's two dot balls to start, but it's good to see Nasir getting the ball coming into the right-handed batter, which is, which is something that's never easy for any right-handed batter when he's facing a left-arm over bowler who's coming in with the angle. Third ball of the game. Nasir coming left-arm over. Luke on strike. This is again well bowled, came in, it's flicked away in the, on the leg side towards the mid-wicket fielder. So Luke is off the mark, first runs on the board for St. Louis and it's going to be Yash Mahajan now who's going to get ready to face his first ball. So Nasir is uh, bowling from the PL and end as uh, Yash gets ready. Yash has an open stance for the left-handed bowler. So that's going to be something that we need to check now how this goes. As uh, Nasir comes left arm over. Again, well bowled. That ball came in. And this is nicely played towards point. It's a dot ball. Uh, so this has been a good start over here by Nasir for Dallas. And we'll have to see how he finishes this over. He's been in good rhythm throughout the season for Dallas. He's been one of the strike bowlers for them. Yesterday he had a brilliant game. He actually was uh, instrumental in changing the game along with Nostush in the middle overs during the run chase against Lone Star. As uh, Nasir comes in now, it's Yash on strike. Well bowled, that ball came in. This is steered away towards uh, backward point, but it's a dot ball. So this has been a good start. Five balls uh, up in the first over, just one run on the board. Final ball of the over coming up. So after this over, we'll, I'll have my fellow commentator, Nabil Parker, who's going to join us. Uh, so we'll get his thoughts uh, after the first over as the final ball of Nasir's over is coming up. It is Yash on strike. This is beautifully bold. That was the Yorker that came in. And in the end, Yash did well to get the bat down just in time. And it's a single on the leg side. But that's the end of the first over. A good one from Nasir. St. Louis Americans, two for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. All right, so we have the second over coming up now. It's going to be uh, it's going to be bold from the Macy Ranch end. As uh, I have my fellow commentator Nabil joining me. Good morning, Nabil. A beautiful day over here. Morning. 
Uh, Nikhil, yes, uh, the day is sunny, looks good. A uh, great uh, day to uh, play a cricket. All right, so first ball of uh, the second over coming up. It is uh, it is going to be Surya Selva Kumar, who's going to bowl from the Macy Ranch end. He's coming <coughs> left arm over, and it's Yash on strike. That's well bowled again. That came in and that's tapped away on the offside. A quick single. So, oh, in fact, it can be overthrows. A misfield over there. That's uh, a rarity from Dallas. They are really very good in the field usually. And uh, that has resulted in an extra run. Not quite uh, what Dallas would have expected from the fielder at mid-on. But uh, every run is important. And that extra run, I mean, in T20 cricket, Nabil, that's very important that you take those singles. Absolutely. Uh, each and every run in T20 matters. So Surya coming left arm over, his, his field over here, he's got a deep square leg and he's got a third man out, the two fielders outside the circle. Surya coming in, it's Luke on strike, it's tapped away and it's this time it's not a single. So Luke is, uh, he was off the mark and he's faced four balls so far. Just three runs on the board. As I was talking, Nabil, in the previous game against Dallas, uh, they actually got St. Louis out for 80 odd and chased it five down. So that's just the sort of uh, sort of game Dallas would like to have. On the other hand, St. Louis, they would want to put a big score. We'll see how this goes as Surya comes in. It's Luke on strike. Oh, beautifully bowled. What a ball that one. That one came in. Lucky for Luke that did not crash on the middle stump. But that ball came in and a beauty that one, Nabil. Absolutely, he's bowling really nice, good line and length, swinging the ball in, so amazing bowling. Yeah, it's been a good start over here by Dallas, both the left arm uh, bowlers, they're getting the ball into the right-handed batters. As we were talking, it's not easy when you're, when you're facing a left arm bowler who's getting the ball in. Surya coming in now again, Luke on strike. This one going away with the angle. So this is a good variation here. After getting the balls into the right-handed batter, he's got this one to go away. The natural angle for a left-arm bowler coming over the wicket. Yeah, three for no loss now. Uh, we are in the second over. And after two balls to go in the second over so far. All right, so Surya coming again. It's Luke on strike. Again, well bowled. It's a dot ball. This is a good start here by Surya. So, Nabi, we have the Houston Cricket Festival today, the local derby, the afternoon game between the two local teams. And we are seeing the crowd uh, coming in now. As time progresses, we might see more spectators in the ground. Yes. It's, it's a great sunny day, so uh, we can expect a good crowd. And it's good to see the tents put in. I mean, excellent facilities. Uh, Great stuff by the Musa officials as uh, Surya comes in now. It's Luke on strike. This is beautifully picked up and this is going towards the extra cover boundary. One bounce into the fence. That's the first four of the match and it's a no ball as well. So it's going to be a free hit again for Luke as if he needed an invitation. But that was brilliantly done by Luke. He, it was in his slot and he timed it perfectly over the head of the fielder at covers. And that's a glorious shot, Nabi. Yes, uh, absolutely. That was nicely picked. Uh, we would see uh, more uh, coming from the look. So uh, expect some good score, gr uh, good scoring match over here. Yeah, it's going to be a free hit. So we'll see what Luke comes up with. The field cannot change. Uh, this is going to be the final ball of the second over. Eight runs on the board. Surya to Luke. This time Luke gives himself some room and that's brilliantly played over the head of the fielder at covers. This has gone again towards the cover point boundary. Back to back force to finish the second. Good start over here by Luke and St. Louis. After two, they are 12 for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds.
So Nasir to continue from the PL and end and it's going to be Yash on strike. This is beautifully bold. What a ball that one from Nasir. It was in the block hole and before the bat came down the ball had passed the batsman. A good ball this one uh, Nabil by the bowler. Yes, uh, they are bowling really good. Only the last couple of balls uh, bowled by the other bowler were nicely picked up by Luke. But other than that, uh, uh, the attack is really good. Yeah, Dallas is well known for their bowling and their fielding and that's uh, exactly what the captain would expect from the bowlers. This one was outside the off stump. But this one went away with the angle and uh, rightly not a wide signal by the umpire Sadik. Both very good umpires, experienced umpires. We have Parth from Dallas. Again, he's very good. And then we have Sadik, who's a local umpire from Houston, well respected in the cricket fraternity. And uh, it's good to see uh, local talent doing really well when it comes to umpiring as Nasir comes in. Again, beautifully bold. This one came in. This, is, this has been a good over here. Nabil, three dot balls in this one so far. Yes, as said, uh, they are really bowling good and what it matters in 2020 is uh, dot balls. Every dot ball uh, can add a pressure onto the batsman. So let's see how they continue uh, bowling. Nasir coming in, next ball again well bowled, this was full coming into the right handed batter, it's played towards backward point, it's a dot ball, four dot balls in this over, this is brilliant from Nasir and 12 on the board for St. Louis, we are in the third over, a beautiful day here uh, in PLN, Texas and uh, a perfect day to watch and play cricket, the sun is out, clear skies, it is, it is going to uh, get warmer as the day progresses but uh, a really good day as we see Nasir coming in now for the fifth ball of this over four dot ball so far it's a dead ball probably he missed his run up there alright so it's Nasir coming left arm over and it's Yash on strike this is again well bowled. This time beautifully played by Yash. He waited for the ball to come in and then he played it late. Played it fine towards third man. It's going to be just a single. Nicely done by the fielder at third man. So one run in five balls so far in this third over as Luke is getting ready to face Nasir who's coming in from the PL and N. It's, it's been a good start um, by Nasir as we were talking. He's into his second over and he's given away just uh, just three runs so far. In comes Nasir. Well, again, looks like it's we're just waiting for the field. Looking at the field here for Nasir, he's got a short find. He's got a third man, backward point, a regular point, covers mid off, mid on, mid wicket, and he's got two fielders outside the circle, deep square leg and third man. Nasir coming in, left arm over. This time he steps down, Luke, and he's played it over the head of the fielder at mid off. It's going towards the extra cover boundary again. In fact, it's gone all the way. What a shot by Luke. It's six runs. What a way to finish this over. Nicely done by Luke. And he's looking really dangerous over here. After three, St. Louis 21 for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. Alright, so uh, 21 for no loss, St. Louis. It's a good start and uh, one of the trump cards for Dallas, Nostush Kenjige coming in. Uh, he had a brilliant day yesterday, picked up a wicket. I think he bowled four overs, gave away 15 odd runs 
and uh, he played an important knock for his team yesterday against Lone Star where he scored 40 not out and ensured that Dallas reached that 150 mark which in the end was enough as they won a close game against Lone Stars by defeating them by 13 yesterday. Nostush coming into the attack, he's coming left arm around from the Macy Ranch end as uh, Yash is getting ready to face Nostush. Yash is batting on 5 of 9 balls. This is beautifully bowled by Nostush, slower through the air, the ball turned a bit, defended towards covers by Yash. At the other end, Luke is looking really good for St. Louis, he's raced on to 15 of 10 balls with 2 boundaries and 1 6, going at a strike rate of 150 so far. Second ball of this over coming up, Nostush, beautifully bowled again, that one is played towards point. Two dot balls to start for Nostush, he's bowling in the power play, the two fielders outside, he's got a long on and he's got a deep mid wicket in place. And uh, he's into his first over here as he's coming left arm around. Yash on strike. This is short. This is nicely picked away by Yash. It's going towards the deep square leg boundary. And that's the first boundary for Yash. He rocked onto the back foot. That was the arm ball. But it was down the leg side. And very smartly done by Yash as he placed it perfectly away from the fielder who was at 45 on the leg side. And in the gap towards square leg. That's the first boundary for Yash, a timely one for him. St. Louis 25 for no loss after 3.3 and uh, Nostush is now getting ready to bowl the next ball. Nostush to Yash, oh beautifully bowled. What a ball that one by Nostush. A dream ball for a left arm spinner. That one pitched on the middle stump and beat the batter outside the off stump. That was beautifully done. He slowed the ball, he slowed the pace of the ball and he got that turn. Very smartly done by Nostush. Next ball coming up. Again, this time it's picked up nicely by Yash. He's played it in the gap over the head of the fielder at mid-wicket. Could not quite time it. He probably wanted to go a tad straighter. In the end, it's, it's going to be a single, but that was well bowled by Nostush. But in the end... Uh, Yash was able to pick the gap over the head of the fielder at mid-wicket. Now we, it's going to be Luke on strike. Final ball of uh, the fourth over coming up. 26 runs on the board. And we'll see how this goes now. Nostush is coming left arm around. Uh, the field for Nostush will see. He's got a long off and he's got a deep mid-wicket. The two fielders outside the circle. He's got mid-wicket. Deep, uh, he's got a backward square leg, mid on. He's got a slip, point covers. In fact, two fielders in the covers. This is well bold. Appeal for leg before that's coming in with the arm, but not out, says the umpire. Probably the impact was outside the off stump, is what the umpire is signaling. But uh, a good finish to the over by Nostush after four. St. Louis 26 for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. Well, it's going to be Hussein now who's coming into the attack for Dallas. Hussein again, one of the important players for Dallas with the bat and with the ball. And uh, we're talking about Luke Nabil. He's, he's been good in this minor league edition. He's, he's scored close to 600 runs so far. And he's one of the key elements for St. Louis. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's an important uh, batter for St. Louis. Nabil. Absolutely. And he's showing uh, his talent uh, over here. We have, some, uh, we have seen some exceptional shots from him. Hussain coming in now from the PL and then it's Yash on strike. This is played towards third man for a single by Yash. So it's going to be Luke back on strike. The two fielders outside the circle for Hussain. He's got a third man and he's got a fielder on the leg side in the deep. And other than that, it's a conventional field. He's got a backward point 
a conventional point covers mid off mid on mid wicket and a short fine second ball of the over coming up here Hussein bowling to Luke Hussein just taking his time as Luke gets ready to face 27 on the board for St. Louis this one came in with the angle but it was flicked away towards a short fine in the end it's a dot ball well lucky for Hussein here Nabil because had that been away from the fielder at short fine that could have gone to the fine leg boundary with no one outside the circle yep absolutely field placing uh, is a key over here for the bowler yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's so important that the captain and the bowler, uh, they are on the same page because you need to have the fielders in the right positions. You would want the bowler to bowl to the field because that always makes the captain look really good. And that's what we've seen so successfully from Dallas so far, not just in this game, but in the previous games as well. Absolutely. Third ball of the over coming up, it's Luke on strike. Hussein coming in right arm over. This is again well bowled, but this is probably going down the leg side and rightly not out, says the umpire. Uh, well, Nabil, I mean, uh, looking at the pitch, this is this is uh, top-class stuff by the Musa officials because they had very little time to get a new management in. And in the last few days, uh, the management with Ali as the main uh, operator to prepare the pitch it was Ali and then it was uh, Hassan and Justin I mean they've done an amazing job we saw yesterday as well the way the pitch behaved it was perfect for T20 cricket if you bat well you get runs and if you bowl well you get wickets that's exactly what you would want Nabil I'll get your thoughts on that after this ball um, so you can just let us know the value of a good cricket wicket especially in T20 cricket as Hussein comes in to bowl to Luke Luke steps down this time he tried to go over the head of Midon got an outside edge lucky for him it went over the head of the keeper and that's gone for four and uh, St. Louis will not mind that Luke gets his third boundary he's already got a six it's four runs here for Luke and St. Louis are now 31 for no loss Luke batting on 19 of 14 balls Nabil your thoughts on the importance of a good cricket wicket absolutely I mean uh, yeah. to have a competitive match uh, wicket pl plays an important role uh, this is amazing wicket and looks like 170, 180 would be a nice score uh, to have a competitive match over here. Alright, so Hussein coming in now. It's Luke on strike. This time again it's short. It's flicked away towards square leg for a single by Luke. He's looking really good. He's moved on to 20 now at the other end. Yesh batting on 11, 32 for no loss. We are in the fifth over here for St. Louis. And... Uh, it's it's really good to see they've got some fan zones set up here they've got some nice tents I mean Nabil uh, this is really looking like the Houston Cricket Festival which is what uh, we were looking forward to absolutely it's an amazing setup amazing day all right so it's gonna be Hussein who's coming in now and uh, Yash is getting ready to face Hussein he's coming right arm over from the PL and N this one is steered away towards third man for a single. That's the end of the fifth. St. Louis 33 for no loss. And we'll be back in a few seconds. My son, he's so soft-spoken. Oh, yeah. Everyone says he's so good-looking. And he never forgets to call. I'm uh, born for your true self. The 2022 Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. Alright, so it's going to be the final over of the power player. Luke is batting on 20 of 15 and Yash who's on strike is batting on, he's batting on 12 of 16 balls as uh, 
Nostrish comes in from the Macy Ranch end. This is beautifully bowled and well beating him again outside the off stump. A dream ball for a left arm spinner. That ball pitched on the middle stump and beating him again outside the off stump. This is the second time Nostush has done that and good to see the captain getting a slip in place. So good intent by the fielding team. Good captaincy. In comes Nostush again. This is slower through the air. This one spun and this is played towards backward point. Two dot balls. This is good to see from the left arm spinner. Nabil. Brilliant bowling. Absolutely. I mean, you yourself are a le left arm spinner, so you know how important it is to bowl uh, at the right uh, place. And putting a slip uh, 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 is a great thinking by a captain. In comes Nostush again. This is the arm ball. This is played on the leg side towards mid wicket for a single by Yash. It's going to get Luke back on strike. I think one of the things Nostush does really well is he uses the crease brilliantly. If you see the way he comes in wide of the crease and then closer to, to the crease, that makes a big difference when you're bowling left arm spin. Nabil. Absolutely. I agree. Nostush is coming in now. It's Luke on strike. Fourth ball of the over. This is beautifully bowled again. Slower through the air. This one came in. And just one run in four balls. We are in the final over of the power play. 34 for no loss. They're going at a run rate of six runs per over. Nostush has given away six runs so far. And he's into his second over here. Nostush to Luke. This one is the arm ball. This time Luke tried to sweep it. In the end, he was just able to play it to short fine for a single. So just two runs in this over so far. Final ball of the power play coming up, Nabil. Your take on the final ball. What will happen on this ball? Uh, the way uh, the bowler is bowling, I believe uh, he has a tight line in length. So I, I don't think uh, there will be a big shot coming in this. We'll see what happens. And that's exactly what happened. There was no big shot as predicted by Nabil. It's a dot ball to finish the power play after six St. Louis 35 for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. What's up, Doug? What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. Ready for the next over, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So far, it's been uh, it's been a uh, it's been fairly even. Thirty-five for no loss. Something's got to give over here for St. Louis. The power play is done. As we see Surya back into the attack. He's coming left arm over from the PL end and it's played towards backward point. This can be a run out. Well, this could have easily been a run out. A direct hit and that could have be, would have been curtains for Luke. It was Nostush who was there at uh, backward point. He came in very well, picked up the ball and threw it at the non-striker's end. Lucky for Luke that did not hit the stumps. Otherwise, that would have been curtains for him. Well, the importance of good fielding. We see that again over here. Nicely picked up by the fielder and throwing the ball at the non-strikers. And nevertheless, it's one run here for St. Louis. And Yash is back on strike. This is the seventh over going on as Surya is coming in from the PL and N. This is again on the leg stump. Back of land, it's played on the leg side towards mid wicket for a single. Yeah, we were talking about uh, the way the pitch has behaved and the way the the sort of uh, the sort of uh, responsibility that the new uh, pitch preparation team has taken over Nabil. Just to update uh, Ali, who's the head uh, for this preparation, he started on fifth July, 
and then Julian Fountain and Hassan they started a week after that uh, assisting with this on the 12th of July and yesterday in fact Ocean has joined in to help so it's it's really some good uh, good staff members coming in with respect to the pitch preparation as we see Surya coming in this time Luke steps down the track and he tried to play the big shot got an outside edge but it was away from the fielder at short third it's gone towards the third man boundary so again it's a lucky boundary here for Luke but he and St. Louis they would not mind this at all as Luke has now moved on to 26 of 19 he's going at a strike rate of 137 but Nabil just talking about the 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 sort of team that the Musa officials have been able to get with respect to such a short span of time and the way they have worked on the pitch I mean it's it's kudos to the management it just shows that they are doing the right things and they've got the right people at the right time working on these important aspects when it comes to getting a match going I'll get your thoughts on that after this ball as uh, Surya is getting ready to bowl the next ball it's Luke on strike 41 for no loss St. Louis this time it's full, this time it's driven beautifully by Luke. It's going towards extra covers. The fielder at long off, anticipating it, keeping it to just a single. So it's going to be Yash back on strike. But Nabil, getting the right people and doing the right things. We are seeing the results of that when it comes to the way the pitch has been playing. Absolutely. I mean, a uh, commendable job done by Musa officials to have such a uh, great pitch. Anything below uh, 160 would be really tough uh, for St. Louis to uh, uh, defend. So... Uh, they should uh, try to see to score somewhere between 170 to 180 to have a great uh, competitive match. Surya coming in this time, angled away from the right-handed batter. He steered it away towards third man. It's just a single and uh, it's 43 for no loss. Final ball of the seventh over coming up. The power play is done. So the five field is outside the circle. He has a third man out. He's got a deep square leg. He's got long on long off and he's got a fielder at sweeper cover on the offside the fielders inside the circle he's got a short fine he's got a backward point a fielder at covers and mid wicket so pretty much a conventional field here there's no one in the deep over the head of the fielder at mid wicket so he's asking the batter to hit across the line if he wants to we'll see what happens final ball of the seventh coming up Luke on strike. Luke steps down again. Beautifully bowled by Surya. This one angled away from the right-handed batter, beating him outside the off-stump. That's the end of the seventh. 43 for no loss. St. Louis will be back in a few seconds. Alright, so Adnan Harun coming into the attack, uh, the wrist spinner, he had a good day yesterday against Lone Star and the importance of a wrist spinner, uh, Nabil in T20 cricket, I mean, a wrist spinner can get the ball to turn on any wicket and that's exactly what uh, the captain would be expecting from Adnan as uh, he gets ready to bowl his first ball, first ball of the 8th from the Macy Ranch end. This is well bowled by Adnan and that's beautifully played by Yash. He rocked onto the back foot and he picked the gap between short third and point and he gets his second boundary here. He moves on to 19 and a timely one here for Yash as St. Louis moved to 47 for no loss in 7.1. But Nabil, a wrist spinner is always handy in T20 cricket which we have seen so much uh, across different leagues. Absolutely. I mean, uh, he, the wrist spinner has an ability to turn ball away from right-hander but uh, this last ball was nicely picked up by Yash and perfect placement uh, to score a boundary. Adnan coming in now. It's Yash on strike. This time again it's short. This time Yash missed out I believe because 
that was short he was on the back foot all he had to do is place it correctly the way he had done on the previous ball not quite able to do it on this ball it's a dot ball uh, harun not quite getting his length right yet we'll see what happens third ball of the over this time it's flighted and this is picked up by yash and in the end i beg your pardon he didn't pick it up he actually was beaten over there so that's well bowled by adnan because he flighted the ball and yash could wanted to go for the big shot but missed it in the end yes he tried to uh, slog the ball adnan coming in again this is again he plays on the back foot but this was this was well bowled this was not short this was the top spinner and yash tried to rock on the back foot in the end the ball hurried on to the bat here absolutely good comeback by the bowler yeah this has been a good comeback here after the boundary of the first ball he's bowled uh, well after that four dot balls uh, three dot balls after the boundary this is short again this was the quicker one yash tried to pull the ball and the importance of rotating the strike i mean it's so important nabil in any format because if you get a boundary of the first ball you have to keep the scoreboard ticking Tick. so far yash has not been able to do that but he has the final ball coming up as he's facing the ball from harun this is flighted this time yash tries to play it in the gap between deep mid wicket and long on but could not quite get that gap he gets a single towards long on that's the end of the 8th and st louis 48 for no loss will be back in a few seconds took that last corner pretty quick sir i need one hand on the roof one hand on the pump time out for sonoko go rewards Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save because rewards come first. Take second. Surya coming in now. First ball of the ninth. This is uh, no ball over here. It was angled away from the right-handed batter, but it's going to be a free hit, and uh, exactly what Yash would have wanted. I mean, he's batting on 20 now of 29 balls. He's going at a strike rate of less than 70. At the other end, Luke is batting on 27 of 21, going at a strike rate of close to 130. This is a timely free hit for Yash Nabil. Absolutely, I mean they should uh, Yash should capitalize this ball. Uh, it's a free hit, so I I I assume there th he's, he'll be looking for a uh, big shot, probably to clear the boundary rope. Surya coming into Yash this time. Yash has picked this one, but uh, well, it's gone all the way for six. Exactly what St. Louis and Yash would have wanted on this ball. and that was brilliantly done by yash it was in his zone and he was waiting for it and he 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 picked it over the head of the fielder at long on who tried to go for the catch in the end it cleared him and that's very nicely done by yash he gets his first six and st louis they have now moved on to 55 for no loss we are in the ninth over this is the second ball coming up now surya to yash who's batting on 26 now This time again, yes, she is going towards long off, and uh, that's a wicket over there. A good catch by the fielder at long off. He has claimed the catch, but uh, it's not quite there. I mean, probably bounced short, going by the body language of the fielder, and also the two batters. In the end, it's a right call here, Nabil, because that did look like it bounced a tad short. Ah. Uh. Definitely, I mean a great effort by a fielder. Uh, fell a little short, but amazing effort uh, by a fielder. Surya coming in now. It's Luke on strike. This is well bowled. This time Luke has played it late towards third man. It's going to be just a single. And uh, yeah, I mean it was good to see from Dallas. Uh, they did not quite claim the catch. The fielder was unsure. and the moment uh, the umpire said it's bounced they acknowledged it so good spirit in the end by the fielding team no controversies and fair play that's good to see
57 for no loss. Fourth ball of the ninth coming up. Surya to Yash. This time Yash tried to pull it on the leg side. Got an outside edge. It's gone on the offside for a single. So looks like uh, Yash has Yash has made his intentions clear over here. Nabil, as you were saying, he's trying to go for it now. Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, they have to score big. So uh, one of the batter should cut loose now. Both are set. Uh, so anyone can take a charge and other can play a supporting role. All right. So it's uh, it's going to be Luke on strike now as uh, Surya is coming left arm over from the PL and N. This time Luke steps down and he's played it on the offside and what a catch that one by the fielder deep on the offside. He was at sweeper cover. He covered a lot of ground and he took that catch brilliantly diving and then that's claimed that's the first wicket here luke has to depart to a beautiful catch by the fielder who ran all the way from sweeper cover to extra cover and dived in the front and took a brilliant catch we are talking about the importance of good fielding and what a good fielding unit at unit dallas is and that's exactly what we have seen over here the first wicket goes down for st louis they are 58 for one now luke departs for 28 and uh, well that was top class nabil Absolutely. I mean, uh, catches win matches. Uh, the wonderful uh, outfield catches are not easy to take. He ran, he ran quite a good ground to cover that catch and amazing effort by a fielder. Well, that's the first wicket here and uh, the pressure was mounting and uh, that's, that's resulted in this wicket here for Dallas. Surya is into his third over. In fact, he's gone for 30 runs so far but he's picked up this first wicket for his team at the other end Adnan he bowled a tight over he gave a boundary of his first ball but after that he came back brilliantly to give just one run in the next five balls which meant he gave away only five runs in the previous over it's 58 for one and uh, the number three batter for St. Louis Ayan Khan he's walked in at number three here for St. Louis final ball of the ninth coming up here and uh, what a catch that one by the fielder who was at sweeper cover, R. Ramesh. It was brilliantly done by R. Ramesh. Surya coming left arm over now, final ball. And... Uh, It's going to be Yash on strike. This time Yash plays it straight back past the bowler. That's beautifully played. The long off fielder was a tad wider, which meant that there was no chance for that fielder at long off. That's a glorious shot by Yash. And that's gone for four. Final ball of the ninth after nine. St. Louis 62 for one. We'll be back in a few seconds. Alright, so Adnan Harun to continue over here. It's the left-handed batter Ayan Khan who's getting ready to face his first ball. This is taken on the full by Ayan. It's played towards long off. So Ayan is off the mark. And uh, which means the right-handed Yash is back on strike now. Yash is batting on 32 now of 33 balls. He's picked up pace in the last few balls. He's hit a six. He's got a boundary. And he's looking good now. From St. Louis's point of view, after uh, seeing off the initial overs, they would want... Uh, 
yash to bat all the way from here on as adnan gets ready to bowl the second ball it's yash on strike this one well beautifully bowled by adnan yash tried to play the slog sweep in the end could not connect it beaten outside the off stump the wrist spinner getting the ball to turn away from the right handed batter and this is the second time he's beaten yash in this manner in his two overs so far Haroon, this is short. This time, Yash rocks onto the back foot and he got the third deep mid wicket to catch the ball. Timed his jump perfectly, but could not do it. And that ball scored over the head of the fielder in the end. For six, it was a bad fielder. He timed his jump perfectly, got both the hands on the ball, but the ball just popped out of his hands and went outside the boundary. In the end, it's six runs here for Yash. And uh, six runs for Saint, sixty-nine for one now for Saint Louis. Harun coming in, he's bowling to Yash. This is beautifully bowled by Adnan Harun again. He slowly slowed the pace over there, got the ball to turn away from the right-handed batter, beating again seven runs of four balls so far in this over. He's into his second over, he's given away twelve runs. He's bowling from the Macy Ranch end. Ash on strike. Time again out system. Two clocks. Think the bent ends. He will try to play straight or try to play on the offside over the head of covers if he can. We'll see what happens. Final ball of the over coming up. This time he rocks on the back foot and beaten outside the off stump with that top spinner. A top class over here from Haroon. 69 for one. Saint Louis after 10. We'll be back in a few seconds. आ रहा है वो एक्चुअली डिलीवर नहीं हुआ हुसैन हुज गोइंग टू कम नाउ फ्रॉम द पीएल एंड एंड ही इज गोइंग टू बोल टू द लेफ्ट हैंडेड बैटर अयान हु इज गेटिंग रेडी टू फेस हिज सेकंड बॉल हुसैन तलात ही इज बोल्ड वन ओवर गिवन अवे सेवन रन सो फार फर्स्ट बॉल ऑफ द 11th कमिंग अप दिस इज वेल बोल्ड बैक ऑफ लेंथ आउटसाइड द ऑफ स्टंप इट्स स्टीयर्ड अवे टुवर्ड्स थर्ड मैन बाय अयान So it's going to be the right-handed Yash on strike now. Yash is batting on 38 of 38, going at a strike rate of 100. He's got three boundaries and two sixes, and uh, he's really picked up pace in the last few balls with some boundaries, and that's good to see from Yash. Changing gears at the right time, and we'll have to see what happens over here as uh, the right-handed Yash is getting ready to face the second ball. Five fielders outside the circle are. There's one at third man sweeper cover, long on. In fact, there is no long off, so they've got the long off in the circle. Mid off is in, and deep mid wicket is there as well as there is deep square leg. So one, two, three, four fielders outside. In fact, so they've got an extra fielder in. This is back off length, very well bowled by Hussain, and that could have been a run out, but in the end, it's a single. So this is good bowling here by Hussain. That was smartly done. Good to see this. In fact, they did have five fielders outside the circle for the right-handed batter on the previous ball. I beg your pardon, 
but uh, now it's the left-handed batter who's back on strike and for him they have a fine leg third man a fielder at sweeper cover they've got a fielder at deep backward square and a fielder at long on there's no one deep outside the circle at long off they have a mid off in place as we see uh, Hussein coming right arm around to Ayan. Ayan stepping down beautifully bowled by Hussein, beating him outside the off stump. Lucky for Ayan, he did not get an outside edge there. Alright, so Hussein is bowling beautifully over here. He's bowling right arm around and uh, it is uh, it is Ayan on strike now. Ayan has faced three balls. He's on two of three balls. Hussein into his second over. He's coming right arm around from the PL and end. This is again back off length. Steered away towards third man for a single. At this stage, I'm sure Dallas will not mind these singles. Uh, St. Louis 72 for one. We are in the 11th over. But from St. Louis's perspective, if they can get somewhere in the range of 160 plus, it's going to be a good score over here. We have seen, uh, as we were talking, it's a very good cricket wicket. And if uh, the batting team can post anywhere in the range of 160 plus, and if they can bowl well, then uh, we have a contest on hand. And that's exactly the sort of cricket pitch we would want ideally in a T20 game. Even yesterday, we saw Dallas uh, scored 150 odd and they were able to defend that with some good bowling and tight fielding. We'll see how this goes. Next ball of the over coming up. Hussein on Hussein bowling to Yash. This is again the bouncer. It was the slower bouncer back of length. Yash just checking whether it was over the head. One for the over signal by Sadik, the umpire. And that's a good call because it was a good bouncer, yes, but it was one for the over for sure. Hussein just checking that. Good call that by Sadik. Final ball of the 11th coming up. St. Louis 72 for 1. They are going at a run rate of 6.6 .6 at this stage. Yash is batting on 39 of 40 balls. And uh, it's going to be Hussein now who is coming in from the PL and N. Hussein to Yash. This is back off length. This is beautifully played but it's straight to the fielder at sweeper cover what a catch that one by Nostosh he anticipated the ball coming to him and he was there for that ball and a good catch that one the second wicket goes down it was a nicely played cut shot by Yash but could not quite place it correctly which means Yash departs here for 39 the second wicket for St. Louis goes down after 11 they are 72 for 2 we'll be back in a few seconds वक्त आ गया है लक्ष्मी बासमती राइस को घर लाने का लक्ष्मी एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग बासमती राइस इसका हर दाना हो इतना लंबा पकते हुए महके और प्लेट में क्या खूब खिले हाँ मेरे घर लाने का
All right, so 72 for two, we are in the 12th over, and uh, from here on, they've lost both the openers, and the captain, Justin Dill, he's walked in now at number four for his team, but it's going to be Ayan Khan on strike. Adnan coming in to bowl to Ayan. This time uh, Ayan steps down, tried to take it on the full, but he's played it straight to covers. It's a dot ball here. Uh, Adnan Harun is in his third over. He's bowled well so far, given away only 12 runs as uh, Ayan is batting on three of five balls. Adnan Harun coming in from the Macy Ranch end. This time again, beautifully bowled by Adnan. And two dot balls to start this over. Every dot ball is crucial going forward. Last nine overs remaining, so uh, St. Louis, it's important uh, for them to uh, convert these dot balls at least into singles and doubles, if if not a big shot. Adnan coming in now. This time outside the off stump, flighted again. It's a dot ball. Well bowled by Adnan. It's straight to covers. Three dot balls in this over. This has been really good by Adnan Harun. He's keeping it tight after the wicket which went down in the previous over, building the pressure that... Uh, Dallas would expect from one of their main spinners as Adnan comes in. This time it's flighted, taken on the full by Ayan. Just a single towards long off, which would mean the new batter Justin Dill is uh, going to be on strike. Justin Dill, he's played for South Africa and he is the captain of the St. Louis uh, Americans team. Um, an important player for them, obviously, with all his experience. Uh, he scored 345 runs in the minor league and picked up 30 wickets. So a very handy player, a very good all-rounder and with all his experience uh, having played T20 cricket for South Africa and then played under 19 for them. I mean, it's it's going to come in handy, Nabil, right here. Absolutely. I mean, he uh, has to take uh, a captain's innings from here on, last nine overs uh, remaining. So um, his innings, uh, his role would be crucial. Yeah, it's it's an important phase coming up here for both the teams and good to see a slip in place for the new batter. So again, this is good captaincy, attacking intent by the Dallas team. They're going for wickets, which is very important in T20 cricket as we see. Harun is coming in to bowl to Justin Dill. This time again, beautifully bowled by Adnan Harun. Dill tried to play the paddle sweep in the end, uh, beaten outside the off stump with that turn. We're talking about the value of a wrist spinner and we are seeing just that over here because the wrist spinner can turn the ball on any wicket if he has the skill set, which is exactly what we are seeing from Adnan Harun. He's not picked up a wicket, but he's bowling beautifully here. Harun to Justin Dill again. This is uh, swept away towards deep square leg for just a single. So Justin is off the mark, and which means it's going to be Ayan back on strike for the final ball of the 12th over. In fact, it's the end of the over. After 12, uh, St. Louis 74 for 2. We'll be back in a few seconds. Well, uh, it's the Houston Cricket Festival today here at the beautiful Musa Stadium. And it's good to see the crowd building up. Uh, some spectators in, they're sitting in those tents which are set up by the officials. Excellent facilities for watching cricket. And we see some kids as well in, uh, in and around those uh, spectator areas. They're playing over there. And it's, it's, it's great to see uh, the way cricket is being promoted. Houston has... One of the articles that said is the center spot for cricket and we are seeing exactly that with the interest that we see right here at the Musa Stadium. All the facilities, a beautiful day and uh, good to see crowds coming in. We have the local derby in the evening uh, where it's going to be the two local teams playing. So we might see more spectators as the day progresses. We've got some fan booths, fan clubs. Uh, there's some beautiful tents. We see Sunoko, Toyota. The sponsors also having things set up over here. And overall a glorious day here for watching and playing cricket. As uh, we have a good game going on as well. And we see a change in bowling. It's going to be Sahib Malhotra who's coming into the attack. So it's going to be another wrist spinner right here for Dallas. Nabil, I'll get your thoughts after this ball as to what sort of a score St. Louis would be looking at from here on. Sahib coming in to Justin who rocks onto the back foot. He's played it beautifully 
and he's bisected the gap between backward point and sweeper cover that's gone towards the sweeper cover boundary that's gloriously done by Justin Dill he gets his first boundary and a timely one for St. Louis and it's 78 for 2 now Nabil after 12.1 what sort of a score you think St. Louis should be targeting? Uh, as, as said before, the good score would be between uh, around 170-175. But uh, the way how Dallas have bowled, uh, they have contended the batsman, uh, not able to score really big shots. So I assume, uh, I believe once 150 uh, uh, Dallas uh, might be able to contain uh, St. Louis on around 150. That was beautifully done by Justin. He played it towards extra cover and that was good running. And in the end, it could have been close at the non-striker's end, but they did get a couple of runs. So they've got six runs of two balls so far in this over. Uh, Sahib comes in beautifully bold. That was back off length, defended. But yeah, Nabil, I agree with you. I mean, I feel something uh, more than 160 is uh, definitely a good score over here. And if they get 170 plus, that's definitely going to put them in the driver's seat when it comes to the run chase. But Dallas do have a good batting lineup, and this is their home ground, so they are well acquainted with the conditions. But we'll see how this goes. Exciting final phase coming up. It's 80 for 2 after 12.3. And Saib comes in to bowl to Justin. This is well bowled. It's taken on the full plate towards long off for a single. And the left hand, right hand combination, that's going to be handy as well, Nabil, especially if these two back long. Absolutely. Left and uh, righty combination always helps. Yeah, rotation of strike and uh, with a left-right combination, it's never easy for bowlers to adjust their line and length. And as we see a change in field now with the left-handed Ayan coming on strike. He's got a deep backward square. He's got a deep mid-wicket, long on, long off, and a fielder at sweeper cover. Those are the five fielders outside the circle. He's got a backward point, short third, short fine, and a fielder at cover. So no one at mid-wicket. We'll see how this goes. Sahib coming in to bowl to Ayan. That's the quicker one. And uh, Ayan tried to flick it in the vacant mid-wicket area, which is exactly what uh, Sahib wants Ayan to do, play across the line. In the end, he got an inside edge. Lucky for him, that did not go on to the stumps. It's a dot ball. So the mid-wicket area is vacant. We'll see in the next ball, Sahib coming in to bowl to Ayan. Ayan steps down. This time he's picked it up, but it's gone towards deep mid-wicket. Lucky for Ayan, he did not quite time it, which meant it went one bounce towards the fielder. But this is a good setup over here against the left-handed batter, and that's the end of the... Uh, 30, 14th over, I uh, beg your pardon, 13th over, St. Louis 82 for 2. We'll be back in a few seconds. My son, he's so soft spoken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone says he's so good looking. And he never forgets to call. I'm uh, born for your true self. The 2022 Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. Right, so it's uh, it's going to be Adnan Harun who's into his final over now. And uh, St. Louis uh, going well over here, 82 for 2. Harun has bowled brilliantly. He's given away only 14 runs in 3 overs. Yet to pick up a wicket, but he's into his final over. He's coming from the Macy Ranch end. Ayan on strike. Ayan steps down, takes it on the full. This time he's played it towards deep mid-wicket and a couple of runs. The fielder at long on gave the chase, but good running over there by both the batters. It's good to see some urgency in the running between the two. And uh, they're playing the ball in the gaps and they're stealing those extra runs, which is vital in T20 cricket as we see Adnan Harun coming in. Next ball to Ayan. This time again, Ayan steps down. He's played it straight back past the bowler. The long off fielder is a tad wider, but he gives the chase, stops the ball. And a couple of runs over here. This is good to see, Nabil. They're getting those extra runs and going for those twos. Uh, absolutely. I mean, great running between the wickets. They have to convert uh, ones into twos uh, because it's just last seven overs remaining. Uh, so if they are not scoring big boundaries, they have to convert these runs. Harun coming in next ball. This is played on the back foot and it's towards uh, short fine. In fact, it's gone away from the fielder at short fine. So it'll be a couple of runs again. Good stop by Nostush over there. He gave the chase towards fine leg. So six runs of the first three balls. And uh, this is good intent over here from Ayan.
midfielder for that shot uh, at backward square leg. There's no one at 45 on the leg side as Harun comes in. This is again well bowled. Back of length, it is played with the turn by Justin. Just a single towards extra cover. Good anticipation by the fielder at long off, preventing that second run this time. They've got eight of five balls. Final ball of the 14th coming up. It's 90 for two St. Louis. And Justin batting on nine of seven balls. He's going at a strike rate of close to 129. And Ayan batting on 12 of 14. He's going at a strike rate of close to 86. Final ball of the 14th, 90 for two. Harun to Ayan. This time again, it's played off the back foot nicely. It's played towards extra cover for a single. So that's the end of Adnan's spell. Four overs, none for 23. It's been a good one after 14. St. Louis, 91 for two. We'll be back in a few seconds. What's up, Doug? What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. Well, that's one of the owners for the Dallas team over there. We see Mr. Lokesh, a really humble guy, a respected uh, person in the cricket fraternity. Good to see uh, Lokesh uh, supporting his team here. And the Dallas team, they're really passionate. They've got some good leaders, good managers. Uh, Noman Bhai is one of them. He's really good with the team as well. And... Um, of course, they are going well this season. They've won all the games they've played except one. So it's been a good campaign so far. And even in this game, uh, after losing the toss uh, at this stage, St. Louis are 91 for two. So Dallas have been going pretty well over here. As we see uh, Nasir Jamali coming back into the attack here from the PL and N. Nasir Jamali is All right, so that's the first ball. It's played towards uh, Long off for a single. So now, uh, in fact, it was Ayan on strike, the left handed batter. So it was played towards long on. And now it's the right handed batter, Justin, on strike. Nasir Jamali is uh, back in for his second spell. And he's given away ten, uh, nine runs in his first two overs. He's coming in from the PL and end as uh, Justin is getting ready to face his first ball against Nasir and Nasir Jamali is coming left arm around which we saw him do so successfully yesterday in his second spell against Lone Star Athletics where he got the big wicket of Nitish Kumar and he changed the game right there for them as we see again Nasir Jamali that's the slower one and this is played towards extra cover good anticipation by the fielder at sweeper cover this is good to see uh, Nabil the experience and the skill set of this left arm bowler bowling to his field uh, yes, I mean uh, we have some uh, we have seen some great bowling done by Dallas team, uh, so absolutely I mean they have stick to their plans, not uh, uh, giving room for the batters to hit uh, uh, long boundaries and sixes. Some great uh, uh, bowling done by the team. All right, so Nasir Jamali coming in now. He's bowling left arm over to the left-handed batter. This time Ayan steps down, tried to play the big shot, uh, missed it, but the keeper missed the ball as well, which means it'll be a couple of buys over here, handy runs for St. Louis. And uh, in fact, uh, it's it's interesting uh, how this is going here for, for St. Louis because Ayan is trying to play the big shots and not quite uh, working out so far. This is good bowling by... Nasir Jamali not giving anything in the zone for the left-handed batter who's trying to use his feet. Ayan is batting on 14 now of 17 balls. He's going at a strike rate of 82.35 here. Nasir coming left arm over to Ayan. This is again beautifully bold. It was the Yorker obviously uh, going down the leg side but it's just a leg by. This is 
this is brilliant skill set here by Nasser showing his full repertoire. He's got the ball, he's got the slower one, he's got the Yorker, and he is bowling to his field, which is top class uh, from Nasser. He had a brilliant day yesterday, continuing the same form today, Nabi. Yes, I mean, uh, great uh, line in length. Uh, last was a Yorker, so he knows that there are last five of or six overs remaining now, so batsman would try to hit, but uh, he is bowling some great line in length. He's coming left arm round now to Justin. This time back off length, player of the back foot towards covers. It's a dot ball. Good variation in length by Nasir and good variation in pace, which is exactly what's needed, especially in the final overs in T20 cricket. Uh, not allowing the batter to line him up in any way and uh, showing good control as well. Final ball of Nasir's third over coming up. He's given away only 12 runs so far. He's not picked up a wicket, but he is really bowled well. He's bowled with an economy rate of just 4.24, which is exceptional in T20 cricket. In comes Nasir, just in on strike. This is again full. It's a low full toss. It's going to be just a single towards covers. So that's the end of the 15th. St. Louis 97 for 2. We'll be back in a few seconds. वक्त आ गया है लक्ष्मी बासमती राइस को घर लाने का लक्ष्मी एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग बासमती राइस इसका हर दाना हो इतना लंबा पकते हुए महके और प्लेट पे क्या खूब खिले हाँ मेरे घर लाने का वेल द क्राउड रियली बिल्डिंग इन नाउ एस द डे इज प्रोग्रेसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ किड्स ऑन द ग्राउंड दिस इज ब्रिलियंट � that's expected today with this Houston Cricket Festival and we see some kids with their parents and they're all here to enjoy this uh, beautiful day and uh, make use of all the facilities and all the all the activities that are lined up Th we have some cricket clinics later in the day uh, there's probably some face painting for kids so it's it's a very happy environment and uh, again hats off to the Musa officials for organizing this uh, so successfully and it's good to see the way cricket is being promoted here uh, in this beautiful stadium with all the facilities. Uh, they, they do have some nets over there. There are some sponsors who've got their own stuff. We see Justin over there. Uh, he's been one of the key members when it comes to the preparations with respect to the pitch as we were talking earlier in the day. As Nostush comes in now, he's coming from the Macy Ranch and he's bowling to Justin. Dill. He's played it towards covers. It's a single. So 98 for two final five overs coming up. And from St. Louis's perspective, they would at least want to go at 10 per over from here on and try to get to that 150, 155 plus mark if they can. They do have wickets in hand. So definitely they have the license to go for it as Ayan is getting ready to face his first ball of the 16th over. It's Nostush who's going to come left arm around to the left-handed batter as well. Nostush to Ayan. That's again well bowled. Uh, it was the arm ball. It's played towards long off. Singles are not going to hurt Dallas at this stage, Nabil. Absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, St. Louis uh, would need somewhere around 10 runs in an over to reach that 150 mark. And uh, uh, single won't hurt uh, Dallas at all because they'll be uh, under 150 uh, if uh, no big boundaries come from St. Louis. So Nostush into his third over. This is the third ball of his over this time again. Beautifully bowled. That's a cotton bowl. He gets Justin Dill. That was a dream ball for a left arm spinner. He has beaten the left hand, uh, the right handed batters a couple of times previously. And this time the ball turned away. Justin tried to play it back to the bowler. In the end, it's a regulation cotton bowl for Nostush. He deserves this wicket. And it's the big one of the captain, Justin, who departs here for 12. Cotton bowl, Nostush. And it's 99 for three now, St. Louis. As uh, this is this is brilliant uh, stuff by by uh, Dallas. Yeah, one of the things I mean uh, today's event. It's actually uh, organized by Major League Cricket. So hats off to them uh, to make this happen. The Houston Cricket Festival. So Major League Cricket really doing some amazing things uh, for cricket in US and. Uh, of course, uh, with all these things happening here at the Musa Stadium, it is uh, it is good to see. I mean, there is there is the spectators are definitely in, and uh, it's it's good to see all the kids there um, at different booths, which have 
a lot of fun events lined up today so you have a good you have good games to watch and there are a lot of activities going on off the field as well so kudos to major league cricket for organizing this houston cricket festival and uh, it's great to see this nabil i mean the kids off the field a beautiful game to watch and that's how you get inspired when you are young kids uh, absolutely i mean the the lot of activities uh, kept by musa official which is a great um, uh, major league cricket uh, team so this is a uh, good thing yep that's right i mean uh, obviously the first successful edition of minor league last year and we see some really good things happening now in this second edition with uh, support from sponsors like toyota sunoco and a lot of other sponsors and then of course uh, major league cricket at the helm leading this event well it's going to be the new batter now who's walked in as nostush has picked up his first wicket of the day 99 for 3 st louis and it's nikhil kanchan who's walked in at number 5 here for st louis nikhil kanchan uh, he has uh, been among the runs for st louis he scored more than 500 runs in the minor league edition so far since last year as we see nostush that was the arm ball came in with the arm nikhil played it off the back foot and it's played towards uh, backward square leg for just a single which means it's going to be uh, the left handed ayan back on strike ayan is batting on 16 of 19 balls he's going at a strike rate of close to 85 so he would really like to get a move on from here on because it's 100 up for st louis but they're going at a run rate of 6.4 and with the final four overs after this one coming up they would want to get to that 150 mark we'll see what happens nostush coming left arm around to ayan this time ayan tries to play the reverse sweep appeal for caught behind by nostush not out says the umpire uh the keeper was not interested so i don't think there was an edge over there nabil yeah absolutely i mean uh, uh, there was only appeal uh, by the bowler so uh, uh, i assume there's no nick final ball of nostush's third over coming up here he's bowling to ayan this time taken on the full by ayan and he's picked it up beautifully this is gone over the head of the fielder at deep square leg that's gone way outside the boundary line for six runs good use of the feet by ayan and not quite the finish that nostush would have wanted in this over but a handy six here for st louis after 16 they are 106 for 3 will be back in a few seconds All right so 16 overs 106 for 3 as we see in the cameras there there's a cricket clinic going on the major league cricket organizers they are actually educating a few of them about the game of cricket that's great to see the interest among the crowd and trying to learn this beautiful game and the passion in the local team local supporters we see some kids over there uh, in the cameras they're actually playing cricket outside the ground we see the young kid over there left-handed batter he's defending the ball and there are some fielders a lot of interest over here uh, this is excellent to see there are so many uh, cricket academies and everyone supporting these young kids brilliant to see the crowds in the background they are sitting there uh, the tents so they are prevent like there's no sun exposure for them and exactly what you would want when you're coming to watch this game in this uh, weather overall great facilities there is a lot of space for kids to play there are cricket clinics going on a beautiful day final four overs coming up nabil 106 for 3 150 is something that st louis would definitely want yeah i mean uh, still 44 runs uh, in four overs to get to reach that uh, 150 mark uh, with the way dallas is bowling looks bit difficult uh, but uh, it would be good uh, uh if they reach 150 for st uh, st louis yeah but that's the advantage of batting first you don't quite have the pressure in the final overs the way you would have in a run chase because uh, you can play with a free mind and you can go for your shots especially when you have wickets in hand which is exactly the case here for st louis they have seven wickets in the bank and uh, they have ayan who's now well set he's batting on 22 of 21 balls especially with the six of the last ball that he faced from nostush and at the other end nikhil has joined him he's batting on one of one ball but uh, yeah we'll see how these final four overs go it's 106 on the board 
but uh, anything more than 155 it's going to be a fighting total especially if uh, St. Louis bowl well we're just waiting for the ball over here that's the reason for the delay because that six that uh, Ayan hit the ball actually went outside the ground so which is why now we see the third umpire Karthik he is uh, just collecting the ball as we've got a sec we've got another ball now St. Louis would want uh, some more sixes from Ayan the same way All right, so Hussein is going to bowl the next over here. That's the 17th from the PL and N. Hussein has bowled two overs. He's picked up a wicket and he's given away only 10 runs. As we were discussing, Hussein is one of the key uh, members for uh, Dallas with the bat and with the ball. And he's delivering here for his team with the ball in this game yet again. Hussein coming in, he's bowling to Nikhil. This one, appeal for leg before, but not out, says the umpire. Probably the impact was outside the off stump. Lucky for Nikhil, that one was outside the off, Nabil. Yes, I mean, St. Louis would not want to lose a wicket for, uh, here. They need uh, some big scores from these two uh, batters. Right, then it's going to be Hussein who's pulling the second ball now of the 17th. It's Nikhil on strike. This time it's down the leg side and it's played towards short fine. It's going to be a leg by, rightly signaled by the umpire. So it's going to be the left handed Ayan back on strike now as uh, we're just waiting for the field to be set for the left handed batter here. We are seeing. Uh, There is a fielder at short fine. There is a fielder at deep backward square. There is a fielder at deep square leg, uh, deep mid wicket. I beg your pardon. There is long gone, and there are two fielders on the out offside outside the circle. There is a fielder at third man, and there is a fielder at sweeper cover. Those are the five fielders outside the circle. As we see Hussein coming right arm around, he's bowling to Ayan. This time back off length, well bowled by Hussein. It's a dot ball. The fielders inside the circle. He's got a short third, short fine. He's got mid off and a fielder at cover. So no one again in the vacant area on the leg side at mid wicket, inviting the batter to play across the line here, Nabil. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, they are bowling a tight line and length. Uh, so uh, every dot ball from here on uh, would put pressure on St. Louis. Right, so Hussein coming right arm around. It's it's Ayan on strike. Back off length again. Well bowled. That ball came in, and it's just going to be a single towards mid off. Well, it's going to probably be an overthrow because uh, there's no one there, and that's not quite good there by the fielder at mid off. There was no reason to throw the ball, especially with the batter who was in, and that's resulted in an extra run. Uh, yes, I mean we have. Captain not quite happy with this, but. Uh, yeah, that was a tad sloppy over there. Yeah, we have seen a couple of overthrows uh, by Dallas uh, today. Usually, they're a strong fielding side. We don't usually see such things, but today they have given a couple of overthrows. All right, then. It's, uh, it's the next ball coming up over here. Hussein, right arm around, and he is uh, bowling to Ayan. This time again, it's the back of length short ball. Ayan tried to pull the ball, missed it yet again. It's 109 for three, final ball of the 17th coming up. Ayan is batting on 24 of 24. He's going at a strike rate of 100. And he would really like to change gears from here on, especially with just three overs left. But uh, the important thing for St. Louis, he's still there and he's well set. He's batted 24 balls. So from St. Louis's perspective, they would want Ayan to bat till the 20th over. Final ball of the 17th coming up, 109 for 3, Hussein to Ayan. This one again, it's short and this time he's pulled it away 
and it's gone towards deep square leg for just a single. So that's the end of the 17th St. Louis 1-1-0 for 3. We'll be back in a few seconds. So it's going to be Nostosh who's going to continue from the Macy Ranch end. He's bowling left arm around. This will be his final over. He's bowled brilliantly so far. Three overs, one for 16. And uh, again, uh, we see there uh, Nostosh coming in. This time it's short and he's stumped. Brilliantly bowled by Nostosh. He was almost expecting Ayan to step down the track. And he altered his length. He did not ball the ball full the way he did in the previous over. He bowled it short away from the left-handed batter. Brilliant stumping by the keeper. And Nostush gets his second wicket. So it's 110 for four now. Ayan departs for 25 of 26 balls. And which means uh, now it's going to be the next batter walking in for St. Louis. And it will be two new batters in now for St. Louis. Because Nikhil, he's just faced three balls so far. And then we have a new batter walking at number six for St. Louis. So new batsman walking in, Dhruv is taking the guard. So St. Louis have two new batsmen on the crease. The last thing that they would want. Uh, Oh, that is great bowling. Nice line and length. To, uh, it's a dot ball. Here comes the bowler for the next ball. Nice, nicely tapped on the leg side for a single by Dhruv. So Dhruv off the mark here. He has faced two balls. Nikhil on a strike. Oh, that's a nicely hit shot. And it's a six. That's what uh, St. Louis want at this stage. Some nice big shots from Nikhil. A nice way to cut loose straight down the bowler. That's a safe shot. All right, Nostush continuing here. Well bowled, that's the arm ball. It's just a single towards covers. A glorious six of the previous ball. 1-1-7 one, one, for four now. And uh, Nikhil has hit a six and he's now 
taken a single of the next ball so it's going to be Drew one strike this time again Drew has picked this one but it's one bounce towards long on it's just a single so 119 for 4 and after 18 we'll be back in a few seconds Alright, so a brilliant spell by Nostush. Four overs, two for 25. He was again, uh, yet again, he's yet again delivered for his team. And we see him doing that so consistently for Dallas. Uh, it's almost like his four overs are a bank for them. And yet again, top stuff by Nostush. And Nasir Jamali, now he is into his final over. Three overs, none for 13. And he's yet again bowling the 19th over for his team. And he's coming left arm around. And he's going to bowl to Dhruv, who's batting on two. In comes Nasir. This is again back off line. This time it was the slower one. Dhruv has picked it up towards deep mid wicket, but brilliantly stopped by the fielder, keeping it to just a single. And what a throw that one. Top stuff this Nabil in the field. Yes, I mean, they have been good in the field except a couple of uh, overthrows. But other than that, Dallas is known for uh, their fielding. Uh, some nice bowling uh, by uh, the bowler. He's varying his line and length and pace. Uh, uh, that's what uh, we, any bowler bowling team would like to see in the, that bowling. All right, so it's Nikhil on strike now. Nikhil did hit a six in the previous over. Nasir Jamali, this is brilliantly bowled outside the off stump, and uh, wearing his pace over there again. It's a dot ball. This is top stuff by Nasir. He is uh, he's really bowling well, and this time we've seen him use the left arm around angle brilliantly in his second spell. We saw that yesterday as well against Lone Star. And we are seeing the same thing today from Nasir. He comes in left arm around, makes good use of the crease and tries to angle the ball into the right-handed batter. Again, this time it's full and it's played towards long on. The long on fielder giving the chase. This time brilliantly done. This will be an easy run out. This is top stuff by the fielder at long on, anticipating the ball coming to him, collecting it cleanly, throwing it back to the bowler. A flat throw, one bounce. And that has resulted in yet another wicket. The fifth one goes down for St. Louis. They are 121 for five now. And uh, we will be back in a few seconds. Alright, so uh, the next ball of the over coming up, it's Nasir coming from the PL and end. This time again, well bowled outside the off stump. This was full and beating the batter outside the off stump. This is top bowling by Nasir over here. Yeah, he's wearing his line and length. Uh, every ball is different. So uh, amazing thinking by the bowler. Yeah, Nasir Jamali, all the experience, the skill set, everything is on display over here. And he's doing it yet again for his team here. Very good to see this. He's coming left arm around. And he's bowling from the PL end. This time again, brilliantly bowled. That was a tad quicker. It was the Yorker again. Lucky for the batter that did not hit the off stump. Because before the bat came down, the batter, the ball had passed the batter. So this was brilliant to see.
All right, so Nasir coming left arm around again. This time it's taken on the full. It's played towards covers. Brilliantly stopped by the fielder at covers. It's just a single. This is brilliant bowling by Nasir over here. It is 122 for five. And uh, that's the end of the 19th. So this was a top class over, a top spell here from Nasir Jamali. He has bowled four overs and he's given away only 17 runs. This is brilliant from Nasir. So in fact, it's 123 for five St. Louis after 19. We'll be back in a few seconds. My son, he's so soft spoken. Oh, oh yeah. Everyone says he's so good looking. And he never forgets to call. I'm uh, born for your true self. The 2022 Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. All right, so we have the final over coming up. It's Hussein who's bowling from the Macy Ranch end. This is well bowled. That's outside the off stump and rightly not a wide signal. It is 122 for five, it seems, not 123 as per the scorer. So uh, there was a correction over there, I believe. The new batter is Murli, who's walked in at number seven for St. Louis. As... Uh, this is the final over going on. It's Hussein Talat. Again, three overs, one for 13. He's been brilliant. We'll see how he finishes this uh, inning for Dallas. A dot ball to start the first over. This is top class from Hussein so far. He's coming from the Macy Ranch end. This is bowled him. That was the back of length ball. And the batter tried to play it on the leg side. In the end, could not quite connect it. So that's the wicket down over here. And it's 122 for six. 122 for 6 here for St. Louis and that's brilliantly bowled by Hussein. He gets his second wicket. So which means uh, now it's 6 down for St. Louis and we are in the 20th over. Alright, so 122 for 6 and uh, well, uh, Dhruv has to depart over here as we see Hussain coming in now. It's the new batter, Baljinder Singh. He steps down, he's played it on the leg side. It's going to be just a single towards deep square leg. This is very good bowling by Hussain and uh, so far Dallas has been exceptional. 123 now on the board. Final three balls coming up, Nabil. This is brilliant death bowling by Dallas. Absolutely. I mean, uh, to dot ball uh, with a wicket uh, to start with uh, as a last over is amazing job. So we have seen some exceptional balling right from the start by Dallas. Uh, that's why the uh, I mean uh, the score is uh, uh, under 150. Well, it's under 130. 150 is a long distance away, anyways. So it's Hussein coming in now. 
and the next ball of the over this one is back off land and this can be another wicket what a catch that one by the field over there and in at cow corner he dived he timed this dive perfectly and ensured he cat caught the ball just away from the ground a few inches away from the ground that was top class by the fielder and which means that hussein gets yet another wicket he bowled the slower one he bowled it back of length and uh, the batter tried to play the big shot in the end he could not time it so that's the seventh wicket down over here for st louis they are 123 for 7 this is brilliant bowling and a top class final over here from hussein he's given away only one run so far in this over and he's picked up two wickets this is brilliant stuff 3.4 overs 3 for 14 he comes in for the next ball again beautifully bowled it's the back of length ball it's going to be probably a couple of runs here this is good running by both the batters every run is vital here for st louis and uh, yeah that was that was brilliantly done by nos to shot cow corner what a catch that one brilliant to see from the fielder you have seen some amazing catches taken by G dallas today all right so it's going to be uh, hussein who's going to continue now couple of balls uh, that's brilliantly bowled beating him outside the off stump and it's going to be a bye to finish the inning so after 20 st louis they finish at 126 for 7 which means uh, dallas need would need 127 to win this game from st louis's point of view yes yes score 39 of 41 luke batted well up front he scored 28 of 23 ayan scored 25 of 26 nothing much after that and from the bowling perspective all the bowlers have been top class nasir jamali 4 overs none for 16 nostosh 4 overs 2 for 25 hussein talat 4 overs 3 for 16 he was brilliant and adnan harun 4 overs none for 23 top stuff this by dallas but st louis have runs on the board 127 to win for dallas we'll be back in a few minutes with the run chase thank you you can strike this is beautifully picked up and this is going towards the extra cover boundary one bounce and over eight runs on the board surya to luke this time luke gives himself some room and that's brilliantly played over the head of the fielder at covers this is go nasir coming in left arm over this time he steps down luke and he's played it over the head of the fielder at mid off it's going towards the extra cover strike. boundary This is short. This is nicely picked up by Yash. It's going towards the deep square leg boundary, and that's the first boundary for Yash. He rocked onto the. As Hussein comes in to bowl to Luke, Luke steps down. This time he tried to go over the head of Midan. Got an outside edge. Lucky for him. Back to the pitch preparation. As we see Surya coming in this time, Luke steps down the track and he tried to play the big shot. Got an outside edge, but first ball of the eighth from the Messi Ranch end. This is well bowled by Adnan, and that's beautifully played by Yash. He rocked onto the back. Here, the boundary rope. Surya coming into Yash this time. Yash has picked this one, but uh, well, it's gone all the way for six. Exactly now, what Surya to Yash, who's batting on twenty-six now. This time again, Yash. He is going towards long off, and from the PL end. end. This time, Luke steps down, and he's played it. on the off side and what a catch that was it's going to be yash on strike this time yash plays it straight back past the bowler that's beautifully played the long off in his two overs so far harun this is short this time yash rocks onto the back foot and he got the the deep mid wicket to catch hussain to yash this is back off line this is beautifully played but it's straight to the fielder at sweep st louis would be looking at from here on Sahib coming in to Justin, who rocks onto the back foot. He's played it beautifully, and he's bisected the gap. Uh, no big boundaries come from St. Louis. So Nostush into his third over. This is the third ball of his over. This time again, beautifully bowled. That's a caught and bowled. He gets just his third over coming up here. He's bowling to Ayan. This time taken on the full by Ayan, and he's picked it up beautifully. This is gone over the head of the fielder at deep. Coming in. This time it's short, and he's stumped. Brilliantly bowled by Nostush. He was almost. Oh, that's a nicely hit shot. 
and it's a six full That's and it's played towards long on the long on fielder giving the chase this time brilliantly done this will be an easy run out this is top stuff by the fielder at long on he's coming from the messi ranch end this is bold him that was the back of length ball it's away anyways so it's hussein coming in now and the next ball of the over this one is back of length and this can be another wicket what a catch that one by the field over there and in you're watching the toyota minor league cricket championship presented by sunoco
All right, so it's going to be the second session coming up now. It's uh, Dallas who need 127 to win. And uh, certainly it looks like they're the favorites to get the score if they apply themselves properly. We'll see what happens. It's the, it's the first ball coming up now. Farhan and Sachin are the two openers for Dallas. Farhan got out of the first ball yesterday against Lone Star. He would like to make amends over here. First ball of the second session here. This is well bowled and played back to the bowler. It's a dot ball to start the inning here for Dallas. Farhan is on strike and Sachin at the non-striker's end. The field for the opening bowler for St. Louis. He's got two fielders outside the circle. We are in the power play and he's got a third man out and he's got a fielder at deep square leg. So those are the two fielders outside the circle. In comes Justin Dill. This time it's brilliantly played. It's played away towards third man off the back foot and they're going for the second. This is good running here by the batter. So Farhan is off the mark and so is Dallas. He moves on to two now and Dallas are two for no loss. Justin Dill, the opening bowler here, the captain for St. Louis Americans. The field for Justin, as you see over here, there is a there is a gully in place. There's a fielder at point, fielder at covers, mid off, mid on, mid wicket, short fine. As Justin comes in, right arm over from the PL and end. Farhan on strike. This is played on the front foot. It's gone towards point. It's a dot ball. So far, it's a good start over here, Nabil, by Justin. Yes, uh, absolutely. I mean, they're bowling good, but no pressure on Dallas at such. So. Uh, We'll see uh, how uh, they take this game forward. Yeah, as long as Dallas bat the 20 overs, they should win the game. I mean, I'm sure that's the game plan from Dallas's perspective. Yeah, I mean, they don't seem to be uh, in hurry. All right, so Justin coming in again. He's bowling from the PL and end. This time it's back of length and it's played away. Slashed outside the off stump. It's gone one bounce towards third man. It's just a single, so it's going to be Sachin on strike who's going to face his first ball now. Sachin Asokan is the second opener for Dallas over here as he gets ready to face his first ball from Justin. This is brilliantly bowled by Justin, beating the batter outside the off stump. The first ball, Sachin tried to go for it and lucky for him he did not get an outside edge there. We see uh, this is a good start here by Justin Dill with all the experience he's played for South Africa as we were talking earlier and he's played under 19 and he's played at a very good level and he's putting all that experience into play here for his team leading from the front with the ball this is back off length this is nicely played and it's a dot ball to finish the first over a good one here for st louis just three of it so after one dallas three for no loss we'll be back in a few seconds
All right, so it's going to be a spinner to start here from the Macy Ranch end for St. Louis. Left arm spinner Paris coming in. First ball of the second over. This is short and this is picked on the back foot. It's going towards the deep mid-weight boundary. That's a glorious shot over here by Farhan. He was waiting for the short ball and he transferred his weight back brilliantly and played it away from the fielder who was at deep mid-wicket. That's beautifully done by Farhan. He gets his first boundary. It's an interesting strat strategy by St. Louis uh, to have Spinner bowl the second over. As uh, Paris gets ready to bowl his second ball from the Macy Ranch end. This time it's flighted and it's flicked away. A misfield by the fielder at mid-wicket, but it's a dot ball. Good anticipation by the fielder at mid-on. The field for Paris, uh, the two fielders outside the circle, he's got a long off. He's got a fielder at deep mid-wicket. As we see, he's getting ready to bowl the third ball. It's Farhan on strike who's batting on seven. This time Farhan picks it up beautifully and this is coming towards the commentator's box. It's gone over the head of Midon, gone all the way over the head of the long on boundary and that's a six. It's gone over the head of the Midon fielder and into the fence. What a shot this one, Nabil. First six of the inning for Dallas. Yes, I mean, uh, field restrictions in place. Uh, batsman taking full advantage of field restrictions. Immediately there is a change in field. The fielder from long off is coming to long on now and the fielder from mid on has gone to mid off. So the two fielders outside long on and deep mid wicket. Paras coming left arm around. Paran on strike giving himself some room. Beautifully bowled. What a comeback by Paras. That's a dream ball for a left arm spinner. He bowled it brilliantly. He slowed it down. The ball turned and beating the batter outside the off stump and it, I beg your pardon, outside the middle stump. That one beat the batter and it crashed onto the off stump. That's what I meant to say. Apologies for that. But what a ball that one, Nabil, by the left arm spinner. I mean, great comeback. Uh, that's that's what uh, the comeback should be uh, for the bowler. I mean, absolutely delighted. The bowler must be absolutely delighted. Uh, it was a six, a ball before, and a wicket, and that to bowl. Uh, that's a great way uh, for a bowler to come back. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was a boundary and there was a six. So, 10 runs of the first two balls of your spell and then to come back and bowl that brilliant ball which pitched on middle stump and it uprooted the off stump. That was brilliantly done by Paris. Also so shows his temperament over there because to have the skill set is one thing but to deliver when the pressure is on, that's another. And that's exactly what we saw. He's got the big wicket of Farhan who departs for 13 now. Dallas 13 for 1 after one, 1.4. And this is really good going here. Exactly the sort of start St. Louis would have want wanted in this second inning. Yes, I mean, they they are defending the score of, uh, I believe, 127. Uh, it's not a high-scoring game, but uh, if they uh, pick, I believe, two, three wickets, they are right back into the game. And that's the cricket. I mean, it's a great level. All right, so the new batter, Sujit Gorda, has walked in for Dallas at number three. Uh, the field for Paris, he's got a slip in place. He's got a fielder at uh, gully, point, covers, mid-on, mid-wicket, backward square. He's got a fielder at deep mid-wicket and one fielder outside at long off. So those are the two fielders outside the circle as we see. Paris is just moving the deep mid-wicket fielder furthermore to his left. As we see, Sujit is getting ready to face his first ball. Paris has picked up a wicket here, so his tail is up. We'll see what happens now. Fourth ball of the over coming up. Paris bowling from the Macy Ranch end. Sujit on strike. This is very brilliantly bowled by Paris. He has he's giving the ball a bit of air and bowling it slower now. This is good to see. A very good comeback after the first couple of balls. He's bowling in the power play, which is never easy for a spinner, but uh, he's he's doing really well away. In comes Paras, Sujit on strike. That's short and this time Sujit has picked it up brilliantly and he's played it away from the fielder at deep mid-wicket. Rocked onto the back foot, Sujit gets his first boundary. That is gloriously done. Yesterday as well we saw Dallas with their attacking intent in the power play 
and we are seeing the same thing over here. So after two overs, Dallas 17 for one. We'll be back in a few seconds. Just in to continue from the PL and N. Sachin on strike. Well bowled by Justin. Back to the bowler. Dot ball to start the third over here. Dallas 17 for 1. Sujit has got a boundary already. Farhan, he scored 13 of 8 balls with 1 4 and 1 6. He was out to a brilliant bowl by Paris, the left arm spinner. The ball pitched on middle and it crashed into the off stump. Second ball of Justin's over coming up. Sachin on strike. Back of length. Defended back to the bowler. This is good bowling by Justin. He's keeping it tight from one end. And that's really good to see. Justin coming from the PL and end. He's into his second over here. This time again, brilliantly bowled by Justin, beating the batter outside the off stump, who tried to play the ball over the head of covers. In the end, missed the ball completely. Three dot balls here from Justin. He's given away only three runs in his first over, and this is a good start in his second here, Nabil. Yes, I mean, we are seeing some good uh, bowling, uh, but they need a uh, few more overs like this. Every dot ball uh, will uh, be important uh, for St. Louis. In comes Justin now. It's Sachin on strike. This time it's on the pads and well this could have been a catch but a good effort there by the fielder at mid on. In the end it fell just short of him but a single here for Sachin which means uh, Sachin is off the mark. In fact I beg your pardon uh, there was an error by the scorer. It's not Sachin who's gone into open it's Sushan Modani who's gone into open here. So there was a mistake from the scoring team but uh, that's been rectified. So Sushant is off the mark it's not Sachin. And Sachin um, is in fact not playing here. So it's Sushant who's off the mark with that shot. And uh, now it's going to be Sujit who's batting here. And he's ready to face the next ball from Justin. Justin to Sujit. This is well bowled by Justin keeping it back off length. It's a dot ball over here. Final ball of the third over coming up. Alright, so Justin coming in, final ball of the third over coming up. It's Sujit on strike. This time Sujit has flicked it, but good fielding there by the fielder at short fine. A dot ball to finish the over. A good one from Justin. Just one of it after three. Dallas 18 for one. We'll be back in a few seconds. One, two, three. All right, so it's going to be it's going to be Sushant now, who is uh, getting ready to face the next ball. We see the spectators; they are coming in good numbers over here. The crowd picking up as the day is progressing. We have the local derby later in the day. The two local teams are going to play the next game, so there is uh, 
good interest. It's the Houston Cricket Festival here at the brilliant Musa Stadium. And this festival is organized by Major League Cricket. So we see the tent set up over here. Excellent facilities for the crowds coming in. They can sit and enjoy and watch this game. As we see, there is a change in bowling now. It's going to be Murli, who's coming in now from the Macy Ranch end. An expensive over that one by Paris. He gave away 14 runs. He did get the wicket of Farhan. But now there is a change in bowling. As uh, we see Murli Basupalli coming into the attack from the Macy Ranch end. He's got a third man outside the circle. He's got a fielder at deep mid wicket. Those are the two fielders outside. First ball from Murli coming up. This time it's shot and it's pulled away, but it's straight to the fielder. One bounce towards deep mid wicket. It's just a single for Murli. Uh, well, in this for this ball, actually, uh, Sushant must have felt he missed out over there, Nabil, because that was a short ball. Either side of that fielder at deep mid wicket, that could have been a boundary. Yes, I mean, uh, should, uh, it, it could have been capitalized in a better way. But uh, 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 he did uh, pull it uh, for a single. Murli coming in now. He's bowling to Sujit. Player of the back foot defended. Good ball that one by Murli. The field for Murli inside the circle. He's got mid-on, mid-off, mid-wicket. Shot fine. He's got a fielder at point. He's got a fielder in the gully region. One fielder at covers. It's a conventional field here for Murli. He's bowling stump to stump. Doesn't have that much pace. So he would like to ensure he's bowling a good length over here. This time it's full. This is brilliantly picked up by the batter. This is again coming towards the commentary box. It's gone over the long one boundary for six. What a shot this one. It's gone all the way. And this is brilliant to see from Sujit Gora. What a shot this one, Nabil. Yes, I mean, amazing uh, shot. Nicely picked up by the batter to clear the ropes. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is this is a vital partnership here for Dallas. Sushant and Sujit, two experienced campaigners. They've been amongst the runs consistently for their team. And uh, they're doing it yet again. As we see this shot from Sujit, it was brilliantly picked up. It was in his arc. And he ensured he's placed it perfectly. Picked the gap over mid-on. And this one went all the way for a six. What a shot, this one. Murli coming in again to Sujit from the Macy Ranch end. This is short. This time Sujit has pulled it away. It's gone towards the fielder in the deep on the leg side. It's just a single. Uh, at this stage, Nabil, uh, this is looking relatively easy for Dallas as long as they keep wickets in hand. Yes, I mean, uh, the key in 2020 is not to lose wickets. So, uh, the where the game is placed now, I believe Dallas can get through easily. Murli coming into Sushant now. This is played off the back foot brilliantly. What a shot this one. This is the back foot punch. It's played in the gap between covers and backward point. That's gloriously done by Sushant. That's four runs all the way along the carpet. And that was a brilliant shot. A treat for the eyes, Nabil. Absolutely. I mean, uh, a good punch uh, right on the back foot, like in, right in the gap. Yeah, as we see in the spectators, there is a uh, Chacha Cricket from Pakistan, the famous personality walking along. He was on the camera some time back. Murli coming in now. He's bowling right arm over. It's Sushant on strike. This time it's full and this time it's driven towards covers, straight to the fielder. It's a dot ball. That's the end of the over. So Dallas are going well over here and we'll be back in a few seconds.
Paras is brought back into attack. A great looking shot over the long on boundary to clear the ropes. One more six for the Dal Dallas Mustang. Well, what a shot that one. I mean, this is brilliantly picked up over the head of mid. Long gone. And well, they're dealing in sixes over here. I mean, this is brilliant to see from both the batters. The intent is very clear. And uh, this is good going over here from both of them. So Dallas is uh, sticking to their game plan over here of going for the shots in the power play. This time, good use of the feed. It's played towards long on for a single. So this is very smart batting by the batter over there. He got a six of the first ball and then he ensured he's rotating the strike. That's Sujith, the captain. And now it's going to be Sushant who's going to be on strike for the next ball. Paras coming in again. This time Sushant tried to give himself some room and it's down the leg side. It's going towards the fine leg boundary. The short fine fielder giving the chase. It's going to be a couple of runs and it's uh, going to be a wide signal by the umpire and rightly so a good call again the umpiring has been really good in this game by both the umpires Sadik and uh, Parth both have, be, both have done a good job and it's never easy to stand and give the right calls especially in this heat but good good, uh, good umpiring this by both the umpires as we see Paris coming in now for the next ball Sushant on strike this time Sushant has played it brilliantly it's going towards the extra cover boundary what a shot this one by Sushant he picked the gap between covers and mid off yet another four for Dallas and they are dealing in boundaries at this moment and this is looking relatively easy from here on Nabil yes I mean uh, they are picking their spots or gap spots have been uh, good to watch uh, and they are picking uh, the spinners Paras although he has taken uh, one wicket but he has also uh, gone for runs. Well, both the batters are going really well as Paras comes into bowl to Sushant. This time Sushant uses his field. Uh, he's flicked it towards short fine for a single. Again, this is smart batting by Sushant this time. We saw Sujit doing that initially in the over where he got a six and then he took a single. This time Sushant, he got a boundary and he's picked up a single. So good rotation of strike and this is smart batting. As we see the booths filling up over here, the Toyota booth. There are a lot of uh, people in the crowd and a lot of activities going on over here outside the ground as well. Good to see all this here. As Paris comes in, this is down the leg side and it's an appeal for caught behind. The keeper did not collect the ball anyways. It was a wide ball. So, Paris probably thought there was some bat onto it but a good call over there by Sadik again. Paras coming into bowl to Sujit now. This time Sujit gives himself some room and plays it off the back foot towards covers. A good ball that one by Paras. So Dallas really making good use of the power play and uh, going for their shots with the two fielders outside the circle. Paras this time. Oh, this time it's a wide down the leg side. Not quite sure if that could have been a stumping chance, Nabil. I mean, it was down the leg. It's always hard to collect the ball uh, down the leg. But yes, uh, definitely uh, there would have been a chance. In comes Paras again to Sujit. This time he's stumped. This is brilliantly done by Paras. Sujit tried to use his feet, deceived in the flight. And the ball turned away from the right-handed batter. Again, very good wicket keeping this. Making amends from the previous ball, the wicket keeper. But uh, again, uh, what a ball this one. A dream ball for a left-arm spinner where you're enticing the batter to come down the track and then deceiving him in the flight. And that's the second wicket down over here for Dallas as uh, Sujit has to depart. But this is good to see from the left-arm spinner continuing to flight the ball, Nabil. Absolutely. I mean, he would be thrilled again. I mean, although he's going for runs, but he has picked up the second wicket now. It is important for Dallas now to uh, have a good partnership in between. If they keep losing wickets, the uh, match would be very close then. Well, again, I, I would like to commend the, the, the ground staff over here for preparing such a good wicket. I mean, if you if you bat well, there are runs on offer. 
if you're bowling well there is uh, some turn for the spinners if you bowl well you got good pace then there is uh, something in it for the fast bowlers as well an ideal wicket for t20 cricket so kudos to the ground staff the new ground staff uh, with ali at the helm supported by hasan justin and oshen who's joined in yesterday uh, this uh, pitch preparation team for musa good to see the stalls there is the stall sunoko there are some booths there is a fan zone there are also some face painting events there are cricket clinics going on a lot of activities lined up today the houston cricket festival organized by major league cricket brilliant to see this a beautiful day to watch and play cricket and good to see the crowd coming in good numbers and um, as we were talking we will see more spectators coming in later in the day hopefully with the local derby the two local teams to play the afternoon game there are kids in the stadium as well we see a lot of kids doing a lot of fun activities and it's it's brilliant to see this uh, the way cricket is being promoted here in us and especially here in houston today in this houston cricket festival kudos to everyone who's been part of this organization and great to see this murli coming in now from the messi ranch and that's uh, dot ball the batter is asking for a wide sushant uh, not quite happy but it was a good call by the umpire sushant is batting on 11 of 12 balls with two boundaries sujit was the batter to get out for 18 of 11 balls hussein has walked in at number 4 for dallas as murli comes in this is well bowled stump to stump defended back to the bowler 47 for 2 nabil this is uh, the final over of the power play i mean uh, dallas has uh, already capitalized the uh, the power play but yes uh, they would be looking for another remaining uh, four balls i believe uh, where they can capitalize oh that's flicked away beautifully this is going towards the deep square leg boundary that's gloriously done by sushant it was on his pads all he had to do is ensure he picks the gap which is exactly what he did over there and that's yet another four here for sushant he's looking really good and uh, this is good to see from sushant for dallas from dallas's perspective as he gets his fourth uh, third boundary and he moves on to 15 now of just 14 balls yeah we were uh, murli coming in now he'll have to ensure he bowls the right line and length with his pace it'll be easy picking for the batter this is well bowled it was fuller and it was on the off stump it's played towards mid off for a quick single which means the new batter hussein will be on strike now yeah we were talking about the uh, the ground staff and the team that is in charge of preparing the pitch so there is a correction from uh, our end in the commentary box it's actually julian fountain not justin so apologies for that uh, mistake but it's julian fountain ali hasan and oshen they are the ones who have uh, ensured that we are on track with this game on this beautifully prepared cricket wicket good to see how this is going as uh, the next ball will be faced by the left handed batter hussain the two fielders outside for him there is a third man and there is a deep square leg in comes murli this is down the leg side and it will be a wide signal by the umpire rightly so a good call good wicket keeping over there by the keeper because it was not easy to collect the ball down the leg side good to see this nabil yes nice uh, nice collect nice keeping uh, it's always hard when it's righty and lefty combination uh, uh, for a bowler to adjust his line all right so murli coming right arm over from the messi ranch end this is again on the stumps defended back to the bowler as uh, dallas mustangs going nicely over here they are 53 now for the loss of two wickets murli coming right arm over from the messi ranch end this is on the pads it's a dot ball and that should be the end of the power play dallas mustangs 53 for 2 we will be back in a few seconds What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best.
All right, then we have a change in bowling now from the PL and then it's Bali into the attack. This is again um, flicked away nicely away from the fielder at mid wicket for a single on the leg side by Sushant. He moves on to 17 now of 16 balls, 54 for 2. Baljinder Singh is into the attack. Uh, well, looking at the two bowlers so far, other than the spinner uh, Nabil, uh, it looks like uh, they are military medium. Their their go-to ball is the stump to stump ball. They don't have that much pace, so it's going to be important they stick to good line and length. As we see the field for the left-handed batter over here, he's got a deep mid-wicket, he's got a short find, long on, long off, and a fielder at sweeper cover. Balji, Balli coming in well. That was he tried to cut away from. The fielder at short third, but that could have been a catch to the keeper. A good effort over there by the wicket keeper. Could not quite hold on to the catch. But uh, that was a difficult one, Nabil. Yes, uh, indeed. And as you have said, the key for a medium pace bowler is to bowl in, bowl, uh, in the uh, zone, right? Uh, maintaining a nice line and length. In comes Bali. This time it's uh, back of length. It's played towards covers. Misfield by the fielder at covers. So it's going to be yet another single and which means it's going to be the left-handed batter back on strike now. For the left-handed batter, there is a deep backward square, there's a deep mid-wicket, long gone, long off and sweeper cover. The five fielders outside the circle. Inside the circle, there is short fine, a fielder at short third, backward point and covers. Bali to continue from the PL and end. He's bowling right arm over to Hussein, who's batting on one. This is again uh, steered away for a single on the offside so left hand right hand combination rotation of strike good to see this from both the batters over here as uh, Bali is getting ready to bowl so far the medium pace uh, bowling is working for uh, St. Louis uh, but uh, Dallas is not in hurries uh, uh, as they know they are chasing 127 it's not a good uh, it's not a big total to chase they've got the runs in the power play and uh, the required run rate is less than six so dallas doesn't have to do anything different just keep batting just keep playing risk-free cricket and they should get home from here on from st louis's perspective they need wickets over here a couple of quick wickets that's the need of the hour as the right-handed batter is on strike now and it's going to be bali who's bowling to sushant who's batting beautifully on 18 now this time well bowled by bali it was the back of length ball. Sushant tried to play it straight back past the bowler. It's a dot ball over here. The field for uh, Sushant, there's a third man. There is a sweeper cover. There is a deep mid wicket, long on, long off. The five field is outside. So it's a similar field to, almost a similar field to the left handed batter. But Bali coming in now to Sushant. This is again well bowled, good length, but this is punched away nicely on the offside towards long off for a single by Sushant. So. Like we are talking, Nabil, these are easy pickings. But that's the end of the seventh. Dallas 58 for two. We'll be back in a few seconds. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. Well, uh, there's some music going on uh, on the ground. This is a brilliant atmosphere over here at the Musa Stadium. The crowds filling in, the Houston Cricket Festival in full flow. This is brilliant to see, Nabil. Absolutely. I mean, uh, crowd is turning up now. Uh, nice uh, uh, total, nice atmosphere outside. A great game of cricket uh, uh, being played by two, two teams. Right, so it's going to be Sushant now on strike. He's batting on 19 of 19 with three boundaries. He's going at a strike rate of 100. There is a change in bowling. Uh, it's the left arm spinner who's now coming in from the Macy Ranch end. Paris was uh, the first left arm spinner who bowled in the power play for St. Louis. This one is beautifully picked up by Sushant in the vacant area towards extra cover it's just a single good fielding by the fielder at sweeper cover preventing the second run over there uh, but that's nicely done by the fielder and 
Ayan Khan is coming to the attack over here. He is uh, now going to bowl to Hussein Talat. He's going to bowl left arm over to Hussein. And he's got a similar field. Deep square, deep mid wicket, long on, long off, and a fielder outside the 30 yard circle on the offside at extra cover. Ayan is going to bowl left arm over from the Macy Ranch and it's Hussein on strike. He's batting on two. This is well bowled by Ayan. The ball came in and that's good to see. The fielder's inside the circle, short fine. He's got a fielder at a backward point covers and mid wicket. Conventional field for a left arm spinner as uh, Ayan is coming into bowl now to Hussein. This one again beautifully bowled. That ball turned. It was slower through the air and lucky for Hussein there he did not get he did get an inside edge but lucky for him it did not crash into the stumps over here but good bowling this by Ayan as uh, the next ball comes up here again well ball appeal for leg before wrapped on the pads well that looked close probably uh, yeah. the umpire felt it was going down the leg side leg by signal by the umpire that, uh, was that was a good appeal, Nabil. Yes, indeed, it was a good appeal. That looked close to me as well. Well, uh, well, well. That's a close one over there. Probably Ayan really bowled. Escape for Hussein. But uh, this is brilliantly bowled by Ayan. His body language is suggesting he's not quite uh, happy with the decision. But it is the umpire's call who's right in the middle. He can see it as it is. We'll see what happens, but a close uh, call this one for Dallas. Ayan coming left arm around now to Sushant. Outside the Austin, brilliantly balled. That ball turned and there was a bit of bounce as well in this one. Maybe. Yes, I mean, uh, Ayan is bowling really well. He, he looks like uh, he's going to take a wicket over here. 61 for 2. Final ball of the 8th coming up. This one is flighted. Nicely played by Sushant on the front foot. Trying to go for the quick single, rightly no says the non-striker. That's the end of the eighth. Dallas 61 for two. We'll be back in a few seconds. वक्त आ गया है लक्ष्मी बासमती राइस को घर लाने का. लक्ष्मी एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग बासमती राइस. इसका हर दाना हो इतना लंबा, पकते हुए महके और प्लेट पे क्या खूब खिले. हाँ, मेरे घर लाने का. Alright, so this time it's a wide ball to start for Bali. He's bowling from the PL and end to Hussein. Hussein tried to come down the track. 62 for 2 Dallas after 8 overs. Bali coming right arm over from the PL and end. It's Hussein on strike. This time brilliantly picked up by Hussein over the head of the bowler. And it's one bounce into the fence. What a shot this one by Hussein. And good to see him picking the gap away from the fielder at long on. And uh, this is brilliant to see Nabil as Hussein gets his first boundary. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, St. Louis was bowling tight last two overs. Uh, so we uh, expected some uh, big shots uh, from the uh, Dallas batter. All right, 66 for two now. This is shot outside the Austin. Cut away by Hussein. This is going away towards the backward point boundary. Back to back force for Hussein. Brilliantly picking the gap. He has uh, really bisected the two fielders over there uh, on the offside and rocked under the back foot. That was shot and he was up and ready for it. Back to back force for Hussein. And he is looking really good over here. As Nabil was saying, the last couple of overs were a bit tight, but the pressure has again released now with these two fours. And this is uh, brilliant batting over here by Hussain as Bali comes in. He's bowling to Hussain. Again, this is short. This time Hussain has cut it away. And this is again going towards the third man boundary. Three fours back to back. This is brilliant batting by Hussain. 
Again, it was shot outside the off stump. He picked the gap. This time over the head of the fielder. And well, Hussain is looking really good. He's moved on now to 10 of just... In fact, he's moved on to 14 now. So this is 3 fours, And this is brilliant batting, Nabil. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, they have recovered uh, uh, from the last two overs. Uh, so absolutely brilliant uh, uh, batting. Bali coming right arm around now. This is well bowled. Appeal for like before, and that's a wicket. What a comeback by Bali. He changed the angle. He came right arm around, angled the ball into the left handed batter. And before the bat came down, the ball wrapped onto the pads. And a good call by Sadiq over there. That was right in front of the stumps. And that's a wicket over here. What a comeback again. This one by Bali. He gets his man over here after going for three boundaries. So that's the third wicket down. Hussain departs here for Dallas. And uh, that's a good reward for Bali after the first. Yes, I boys. mean, after three boundaries, uh, to get a wicket uh, is uh, something bowler is looking for. But I, I believe this is a little bit unfortunate for a batter because I think the ball stayed low. Alright, so that's the third wicket down over here now for Dallas and Hussein has to depart. Bali gets his reward over here after going for three boundaries. He's actually uh, now given away 18 runs and he's into his second over here. Seventy-four for two here. Uh, there is some issue with the online scoring, so it's not reflecting. But the score for Dallas is 74. And they have in fact lost three wickets, not two wickets. The third one just went down. So the new batter has walked in now at number five for Dallas. Bali is coming right arm over. He is bowling from the PL and end. That's well bowled and it's played towards long on for a single. This is good to see by the new batter he's off the mark punching it back past the bowler for a single so Sushant is on strike now and it's going to be Bali to bowl to Sushant 75 for 2 75 for 3 I beg your pardon that's flicked away nicely by Sushant he's played it away from the fielder on the leg side in the deep and a couple of runs this is good batting by Sushant smartly done again so that should be the end of the over and after 9 overs Dallas Mustangs are 77 for 3 like I said there is some error with the online scoring so we'll be back with the correct score in a few seconds and we'll be back in a few seconds for the next over One, two, three. Well, we are seeing a slight drizzle over here and the covers are coming onto the field. Well, uh, well, well, uh, hopefully it's a small passing shower. But uh, the players are coming back in the dugout and we're seeing the covers coming on the ground. So stay tuned for more updates. We'll be back in a few minutes. At this stage, Dallas 9 overs, 77 for the loss of 3 wickets and they're chasing 127. We'll be back in a few minutes.
So we had a weather intervention here for the game between St. Louis and Dallas and we have an update with respect to that game. So Dallas Mustangs, they have won the match. Dallas Mustangs, they have won the match uh, on Duckworth and Lewis. Dallas Mustangs, after nine overs, they are 77 for two and they had to, uh, sorry, 77 for three. As per Duckworth and Lewis, they had to be at 56. So just based on the Duckworth and Lewis method, Dallas Mustangs, they have won this match. And that's the update from the center for the match between St. Louis and Dallas. And now we will uh, hopefully have the second game, the local derby between Aus uh, Lone Star Athletics and Houston Hurricanes starting. The covers are still on, but the sun is out and uh, there is no forecast for rain. So hopefully we will have a game. We'll have more updates in the next few minutes for you. Thank you. In. First ball of the second over. This is short and this is picked on the back foot. It's going towards the deep mid wicket boundary. That's a glorious shot over here Good by Far it's Farhan on strike, who's batting on seven. This time Farhan picks it up beautifully, and this is coming towards the corner wicket. Paris coming left arm around. Farhan on strike, giving himself some room. Beautifully bowled. What a comeback by Paris! That's a dream ball for a left. -arm. In comes Paris. Sujit on strike. That's short and this time Sujit has picked it up brilliantly and he's like to ensure he's bowling a good length over here. This time it's full. This is brilliantly picked up by the batter. This is again coming towards the commentary box. It's can get through easily. Only coming into Sushant now. This is played off the back foot brilliantly. What a shot this one. This is the back foot punch. It's played in the gap. Paras is brought back into attack. A great looking shot. Over the long run boundary to clear the road. As we see Paris coming in now for the next ball. Sushant on strike. This time Sushant has played it brilliantly. It's going towards the extra cover boundary. What a shot this one. Uh, there would have been a chance. In comes Paris again. To Sujit. This time he's stumped. This is brilliantly done by Paris. I believe uh, where they can capitalize. Oh, that's flicked away beautifully. This is going towards the deep square leg boundary. That's gloriously done by Sushi. Coming right arm over from the PL and end. It's Hussein on strike. This time brilliantly picked up by Hussein over the head of the bowler. Six for two now. This is shot outside the Austin. Cut away by Hussein. This is going away towards the backward point boundary. Back to back force for Hussein. Brilliantly picking the gap. Over here by Hussein as Bali comes in. He's bowling to Hussein. Again, this is short. This time, Hussain has cut it away. And this is again going towards uh, the... So, absolutely brilliant uh, uh, batting. Bali coming right arm around now. This is well bowled. Appeal for like before. And that's a wicked away. What a comeback by Bali.
You're watching the Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship presented by Sunoco.